People in Puerto Rico are in need of medical help after Maria, including infants. Yeah, and some have even been flown here to South Florida to receive treatment. Local 10 Sanella Sabovic reports. And I thought that she was going to die and there was nothing we can do about it. Christine and Antonio Pieve Vega felt hopeless and were expecting the worst possible outcome for their newborn daughter, Amelia. We didn't have enough gas to visit her. Um, we didn't know exactly what was going on in the hospital. Puerto Rico was left devastated after Hurricane Maria. Homes were destroyed, neighborhoods flooded. Basic necessities such as drinking water and food were scarce. And the entire island at one point was left without power. Imagine, in the midst of it all, your newborn baby is in critical condition, in desperate need of surgery in order to survive. I really couldn't bear it, you know, with two days crying nonstop. That was the case with the Vegas and two other families from Puerto Rico. Their infants were born right before Maria battered the island with complex congenital issues. They needed help and time was running out. Members of our team were getting phone calls saying there are babies in the hospital here are going to die. You have to get down here. Our transport team and our administration were able to coordinate super high risk flights out of Miami, a thousand miles to Puerto Rico. 48 hours after the storm, the babies, along with their families, were brought to Nicholas Children's Hospital. Chief of Cardiac Surgery, Dr. Redmond Burke, along with his staff, worked tirelessly to save these babies who were clinging to life. Doctors spent a total of 20 hours operating on all of the infants. Our job now is to keep them healthy, protect their brains, let them have a nor as normal a life as possible. Without the hospital and their life-saving efforts, these three babies wouldn't have a fighting chance back home. As the day has gone by, I'm, I'm really more um, relieved and stress-free, um, and she's doing great. Some good news there. And this is just the beginning for these families. All three babies will require further treatment and surgeries as they get older and stronger. For now, the parents say they're just thankful for the doctors and staff at Nicholas Children's Hospital. And this is how you can help out those in Puerto Rico. Go to our website, local10.com. You'll find a long list of drop-off locations from Miami-Dade to Palm Beach counties. Click on any article related to Puerto Rico and you will find a link to the relief page. Louie?